So this is it, this is Blenheim Palace. What a stunner, eh? What a stunning gaff. If you are not from England, but gaff is uh, East London slang for house. Look at that, it is enormous. Apparently it's one of the largest houses in England. Um, I didn't know much about it till today. I read on the way here that it was built in 1705 to 1722, um, lived in by Lord Marlborough. And um, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, you can see why. And um, obviously, it's probably most well known as the place where uh, Winston Churchill, the, the, the British wartime leader, voted the best ever Britain, was uh, brought up as a child, lived here. But yeah, it is a beautiful place and it's so big. Uh, the grounds are immense. Everything about it is immense. The ponds are immense. It's on kind of like a peninsula. It kind of juts out. You can see there's like water there. That's the bridge that you come over to walk to it. More water there. This is the rest of the estate. I think that could be the village of Woodstock over there, which I'd never heard about till today. There's a car park over there, so you can drive here and park here. But I'm not going to go in because um, I'm on a walk. I don't want to take an hour or two, but I'd probably come back here for a day. Yeah, it is a lovely looking building. Now, apparently it's Baroque style. I'm not an architecture expert, but it was quite a rare style in England, apparently. And um, Nicholas Hawksmoor, one of the greatest architects of all time, was involved in this. So that explains why it's such a beautiful place. But imagine having all the rooms and all that space and living in there as one family. It's just insane, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'd like to have a look at in there one day. I'll definitely come back one day. But now I am heading the remainder of the walk. Head towards that um, monument you can see in the distance back over the bridge. So... I'm going to make my way there.